Hey, what's up? It's Kit. Time for another video. Today, we are doing these very, very useful screw lock hitchhiker, whatever you want to call it. It's just a way for you to attach soft plastic to pretty much anything. Before we uh, dive into this, if you haven't yet, please subscribe to the channel so you won't miss out on videos such as these. This channel talks about the hows and whys of fishing and we cover everything from ultralight, big game, everything in between, including fly fishing. All right, so you will need some wire, something to cut the wire with. There are optional tools, okay, like uh, this eye tool or round nose pliers. You will need thick wire, and I'm using something, this is, I, I, I believe this is about 600 or 700 pound wire here. This is number seven right here. Okay. Now, wire, of course, is up to you. The thinner the, the wire for this thing, the screw lock, whatever you want to call it, I know there's uh, patents for each of these or each brand has a name for their version. Uh, the thinner they are, the more fragile the hold is for your soft plastic. I know th some people actually use safety pins to make this, but th those are too soft, okay? This is like proper fishing wire right here. The most crucial part is the eye, okay? And we are going to make an eye. Now, this long piece right here, or the short piece actually, okay, what you do is you, you have to retain that, okay? So, it will form part of this whole thing. It's kind of like a needle and uh, for the one that I make, actually, it's quite important because it gives you something to make a center punch, okay? So you'll see that in, in my version of this, you'll see that actually has that point because I find it very useful. Okay, so you make an eye and you'll make this as nice as possible. Okay, so as you can see, it's something like that. Okay. Now the next thing you want to do is position it so that that eye right there sits on the wire. And we'll take our vice grip, have the vice grip bite the eye and the wire as you can see there okay now what you want to do is to have the wire as close to the big wire as possible okay now let's adjust let's see that here Okay, right there. Okay. Now the next step is to make your coils and what you want to do is go around and then turn the vice grip and you want the the loops to go around and get close to each other like that you don't wrap the wire it makes it cleaner that way so it how how many wraps you make totally depends on you 
the more wraps you make, the stronger the hold would be. All right, now, once you have that, quite a few there, grab your wire, the tag end, and pull on it until you see a spring forming, like so, okay? Now, once you have that, what you do is go back, and then cut the wire as close. Be careful when you're doing this, okay? Cut the wire as close as possible, like that. I usually hold my wire so that when I cut it, it doesn't go anywhere. You can see that, okay? Now, while it's still there, take a pair of pliers and then clamp and turn. That way, it's not gonna stick out. Like so, okay. Remove from your vice grip, like so, okay. Slide it off, just like that. And then you'll notice that you have a long piece. All you have to do then is again, hold, cut, make it long. And there you have it. Boom. Just like that. Okay. Now I'm gonna show you how I attach it. Get a soft plastic here. Okay. Now with that point, it's very easy to just stick it in the middle. It's easy to center, okay? And then twist. Just like that. And then from there, you could take your hook, you could take whatever, like take for example, we wanna mount this on a, find a hook here. This hook right here, okay? Go like that. And then twist. until it's secured to the hook just like that and you'll see it won't move look at that just like that okay now another good thing is that if you want to remove it you just go the opposite direction of how you screwed it in and it'll loosen up you take your hook Conversely, if you want to mount this somewhere, you can put the hook on first and then put the soft plastic after. So it's a very easy way to mount soft plastics. And it, it's not as destructive as well. Okay, so after even screwing that on and screwing it off, doesn't do a lot of damage to the soft plastic and if you want to use your a jig head or whatever you know that's a very very useful piece of kit something that you can make yourself and you only need a few pieces of equipment to actually make them all right so again Something so simple and very, very useful. All right, so uh, this is going to the DIY playlist. If you found it useful, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't yet, please subscribe to the channel. And for you guys who have subscribed, thank you very much for the support. With that, Boys and girls, I shall leave you and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks so much for watching.